All Summer in a Day Ray Douglas Bradbury writes about a group of school children who lived on the planet Venus with their families in the short story All Summer in a Day. These school children were nine years of age and they eagerly awaited a momentous occasion. A strange thing about the planet was that for the past seven years it had been raining incessantly for days, months and years and the scientists had predicted that the sun would appear for a very short duration. As per the prediction of the scientists, the children had prepared themselves by reading about the sun. Among the whole lot, there was a girl named Margot. She was a thin, pale little girl who had lived in Ohio till the age of five. Unlike other children, she had many fond memories of the sun. She had written a poem about the sun on the day when the sun was about to appear. The whole class bullied her because they thought that she was not like them. They hated her for her pale snow face, her quiet nature and her thin body. They conspired against her and locked her in a closet before the teacher arrived in the class. Margot tried to resist with all her efforts, but in vain. The school children, along with their teacher, witnessed the sun after seven long years. Their joy knew no bounds when they watched the flaming bronze ball that was huge in size appearing in the blue sky. The entire planet was bathed in sunlight. The children kept running far away into the forest, feeling the sun rays on their cheeks like a warm iron and removed their jackets to let the sun burn their arms. After an hour of merriment, they returned to the tunnel with the fresh memories of the sun. All of a sudden, one of the girls in the group remembered that Margot was still in the closet and had missed the chance to see the sun. They ran towards the closet to unlock her. They were guilty and could not meet each other's glances. They mustered all the courage and opened the closet door. Margot slowly emerged out of the closet. Right in the crossfire. It's caught in the crossfire